Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we are going to be beating Elden Ring as the Nox people. I don't know what they're actually called, but I know they're Nox. Nothing too special here, just a themed run. And uh, they primarily use the uh, Nox flowing hammer and Nox flowing sword. Um, I did halfway through the run see that a Nox is holding some sort of blade that I was unaware of. So that will not be in here, but I don't even know what it is. Uh, thank you, Fextra. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, feel free to like and subscribe. It's completely free and it means the world to me. Um, but other than that, uh, let's get into the video, y'all. Okay, so I don't think that the uh, Nox people, um, so this is like the Nox, Nox people, whatever they are. I don't think the Nox people get enough love. Um, so today we are going to be taking a short break from doing any series. Um, and we are going to be beating Elden Ring as the Nox people. So yeah, so TLDR, we're gonna be beating Elden Ring as the Nox people. Um, well, cosplaying them, obviously. I don't think they get enough love. Actually, I, they get no love. Um, at least from what I understand, and honestly, I think that they're dumb too. But I played with the Nox Flowing Sword a little bit not too long ago, and I decided that I wanted to do a playthrough with these people, and we're going to take a short break from doing like a full-blown series. So here we go, Elden Ring Challenge-ish thing. So I'm pretty sure we just want high strength and dex. I mean, Samurai is pretty good, or we can just start Wretch. Let's just start Wretch. All right, and and we're gonna grab crackpots. Not sure we're really gonna need them. Yeah. So my keyboard's about to die, so we need to hurry up and spawn this stuff in. Most of this stuff is like picked up via like uh, random drops or like a chance of a drop, and I don't have time for that. So uh, it's less about not having time for it. I just don't want to farm stuff like that. Defeats the point of the playthrough. It seems about right. Armor, Nox, nice. Okay, that actually worked like I wanted it to. Um, I think that's it as far as items and then we will go ahead and give ourselves. So we are ready to be a Nox. So um, we're not gonna be able to wield any of these for a minute. So we're a dude. So I guess we're gonna use the monk. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I mean, technically, they do use a lot of, um, oh, what's it called? Why can't I think of them? What are they called? Uh, it's the, um, okay, I don't know what they're called. They're the things that, like, you, it looks like they're spewing out stuff at you, and it's usually fire most of the time. Um, I don't remember what those are called, so. Okay, that's pretty cool. Big fan. So they both have... Um, flowing form, just they look a tad different. Um, I'm not sure what our game plan is. So, runes could be a problem. Like, we can't wield any of our stuff. I wonder, how many levels are we off? So, 15 dex, 17 strength. So, if we go get Radagon Sword Seal, we'll be able to wield. I guess that's, uh, priority number one. But I think for early game runes, uh, we'll probably killed the Erdtree avatar next to Fort Faroth, which I mean is a bit more difficult than anything else, but you know, it, it's kind of, we're dealing with what we got, all right? Um, as far as talismans, I think we'll use the strength and dex tier. I think that makes a lot of sense. I, yeah, they only do physical damage. For whatever reason, I thought they might do magic damage. Uh, they clearly don't, which is fine. So we'll get Alexander's shard and then charge attack talisman and uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, we dang it, we might want to actually get Millicent's um, prosthesis. That's unfortunate. Okay, um, let's go ahead and deal with this. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to Fort Faros. So I'm working on changing up the audio. If there's any clipping, I apologize. I'm, I'm still trying to tune this bad boy in and it's taking longer than I thought it would. Bro, come here. I actually really like the hammer moveset. So we do need that. I'm really worried about ones and twos because 
Uh, one through four. We should be able to get plus four pretty easily and pretty quickly. So I'm not really worried about those. Um, fives, I don't know where multiple fives are. I know where one five is, which is where Daniel. Oh no, I know where two fives are. There's one uh, in Volcano Manor. How many sixes do I know where are? I don't know, dude. It's been so long since we've done a, um, a somber weapon. So like, I don't know where any of this stuff actually is. Uh, what am I doing? I am so out of sorts. Um, we're gonna have to go to Volcano Manor anyway, so we're gonna skip doing Dectus um, and just do Virgin Duos. I think that makes the most sense. We might, we might come and kill BBK for extra runes. I don't know, it just depends. First we gotta get Radagon Sword Seal, then after that, and then we can wield this to then kill a couple things. And if we had runes, we could get this to plus four really quickly. I need to spend some time and learn how to do this uh, cheese right here on this dragon because dragon has, dragon has a lot of runes. <laughs> I'm excited, this is the first, this is the first challenge that I think I'm just going to fully enjoy. Like there shouldn't be any pain with it. It should just be fun. Because the playthroughs that I've done to kind of break up the starting class series, they were really hard. Uh, actually harder than the starting class series, like in its entirety. So like, I mean that Gideon playthrough, 20 plus hour, like those two playthroughs, the Gideon playthrough and the keyboard and mouse playthrough, both of those like combined were longer in in game time than every single one of the starting class videos and it's not even close i think there's about 60 hours in those two and there i don't think we hit 10 hours on a single one of those playthroughs i think we hit seven once but the average i think was probably close to three or four uh no probably four to five hours but so we've got this playthrough um we're going to be doing a playthrough at, why am I doing this? We're going to be doing a playthrough as a Black Knife Tish, which I'm really excited for. And then we will probably go into our next series, which the next series is going to be upgrading all the starting classes. Whenever I start posting that series, I will post the person who commented that video idea. I, for, I, I never actually looked at their name. It's, it's a really good idea and I'm going to do it. Part of the reason that I'm taking like a break in between series or in the between this and the next series is because I want to put some like serious thought into like how I want to do that series, like how I want to classify, you know, like upgrading, if that makes sense. So I should be able to wield both of these now, right? Yep. Okay. What's the damage going to be on this? Probably terrible. Hold on, we can go to Liernia right quick. I think this is also gonna be a high endurance build. I just feel it. We will need this. Okay, let's go. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna go Alexander. No, we're, yeah, okay. So strength tier, Alexander. After Alexander, we might go ahead and go get the green turtle talisman. After green turtle. We're gonna check how bad the damage is. We could go kill Margaret. Uh, we'll probably go kill Margaret. I think that makes a little bit more sense. I see it now. Uh, damage seems to be pretty good. So maybe, maybe we don't need a whole lot of help. I don't know. The damage seemed deceptively good. So maybe it's not necessary to We'll try it. I mean, I don't even know why I'm trying to rune farm right now. There's not really a reason to. Uh, I didn't put the strength tier in here. Oh well. I mean, this doesn't. This has like what? Maybe ten thousand health, twelve thousand. So it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Uh, not ideal. Okay, so we're not getting repost. Fuck. 
Jeez, bro. That was literally the only thing that could have ruined that. So we did... I like the hammer. We're going to use the hammer for this guy. Look at that yellow damage, baby. Dude, I, I really like the hammer, man. I really like it. We haven't even gotten to use its actual war, really. I mean, we probably could. I just don't think it's worth it, especially when we're going to have a five minute long fight. That was dumb. I do not have time for... Are you... Bro, why? Why? Just, I don't... Un... Uh, man. That sucks super hard. Oh man, that was awful. Okay, um, well... Let's just go kill Margit. <laughs> I don't know why we're still doing this. I mean, we could go plus two both of these, I'm pretty sure. And then, you know, let's just go plus two of these and then go kill Margaret. We'll do some Lyernia setup right quick. It won't take too long. We can get, we'll end up going to Raya Lucaria, getting a three, there's a four. I don't know where just like a two is. I feel like they should be readily available, but I just can't think of where like an actual two is at the moment. Uh, we'll grab the dex tier two. We'll probably... How much does Omen Killer give you? It's probably just like two or three thousand, if I had to take a guess. We could just go... Yeah, let's just go do this. We're just gonna kind of run through Lyrnia. I haven't done this in a long time, but there's a couple things that we need to pick up. Uh, oh, there's a Grace right... Well, we don't really need it now. So there should... Should... Be a hill over here with the dex tier. I think just the strength and dex tier is probably going to be our best bet as far as just getting the most damage out of this class, I think. Nice. Then we will go get the Halic Tree Medallion. Go to Raya Lucaria. Are they just praising him? Like, what are they doing there? I think there's a Nox person that's guarding this. Are you Nox? Bro, I don't know what you are. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Poor Albus. Yeah, we took everything. Sorry, bud. All right, moving on. All right, Academy Gate Town. It's been a minute since we've actually done this whole. What is this? I shouldn't be trying to get. What is this? Oh, I'll take it. It's number one. Two number ones, actually. Not too bad. Uh, this is the bloody church? Yeah, okay. So, we're, we're where we need to be. We'll grab the thingy. Then we'll grab the other thingy. Wake up. Wake up, that's fine. I think we can go this way. There's the four... Belfries. I think we can go this way to get to what's his face. So we had a 12 and a 6. Yeah, so 9,000. How much can we? So we got ones. We don't have three. We don't have four. We can find a four. I do know where a four is at. Uh, no strengthen. Okay, so we're gonna need two twos. Okay, so we. Uh, literally cannot afford a three and four. Okay, let's just go kill Marge now. We never did end up going. We need to get the charge attack talisman. After we get those, we'll go kill Marge. Then after we kill Marge, we'll go kill Godric. Not really worried about that. And then after we kill Godric, we should have plus four. After we have plus four, we'll go get our revenge on that Erdtree avatar. Because our damage should be very nice. And then we can play the game. <laughs> Gotta love Elden Ring, baby. I'm gonna try and use both the Nox Falling Sword and the Nox Hammer equally, just so like, I need to figure out how many mainline bot, oh. We could just do every other fight. So have we killed a boss with the hammer yet? I don't think so. We've died a lot. Um, 
But I don't think we've killed... I don't think we've killed anybody with the hammer. Okay, let's grab this. And we'll go Morge. Uh, not right now. And I actually didn't mean to do that either. Okay. Let's do that. Maybe three and three. Strength and there. And that should be good. All right, Morge. I'm going to make sure to use the Nox flowing sword or flowing form. Pretty good damage. Maybe not, dude. I don't. I can't tell if there's a follow up or not. Looks like there's a follow up. Bro. Literally in Narnia. Bro. Give me a freaking stagger, bro. Nice. I mean, I like it for sure. I don't know if it has a follow-up or not. I think it does. I'm gonna say it does, and we will test it at some point. Goodbye, March. Okay, that was a lot more painful than it should have been. I mean, look at our coat. It's so bloody. So bloody. Thank you. Please signal. The guides. Alright. Uh, can we get these plus four now? Yep, okay. So we need two. That's 8,000. Yeah, we're not going to be able to. Oh. So if we go get this four down here, then we have the mats. Then we just need to... Well, I guess we'll just go kill Godric and then we'll be plus four. Alright, dude in chair down here? No, not down here. Over here? Uh, I guess, yeah, it's over here. Yep, there he blows. Alright, um, Godric. And this time we're gonna use the Nox Flowing Sword. So, Nox Flowing Sword is pretty quick. Let's see if this has a follow up once you get up here yeah there's definitely not a follow up on this one yeah there's not a follow up for sure okay and confirm definitely no follow up that's okay so we'll be able to plus four after this we'll probably go relatively straight to Renala. the bright side other than talismans there's nothing to collect I don't have to worry about wet blades don't really have to worry about tiers because I think that these two tiers are probably going to get us the most damage. So other than talismans, we really don't have anything to collect. Just pretty nice. It's uh, pretty nice. It's a nice change of pace from what we've been doing, which is lots of collecting. I don't know why sometimes they wake up and sometimes they don't. Like, I, I have yet to find the pattern. Okay. And do we need, oh yeah, talisman. And we can, I'll try this. I mean, I really want to use the flowing forms. Like that's the whole kind of point of this build is flowing form. Supposed to be the big deal. 115. So charge, 230, not bad. Should be able to hit him from here. Nope. Has less range than I think it should. Oh, right here. See, the idea is that we're out, far enough out of range that far enough out of range that you like good lord that you like can't get hit like that i think is the whole appeal of flowing form in my opinion oh nice hot shot i 
mean, okay, so the range is pretty good. You just gotta get used to it. I mean, the damage is good too, so. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, yeah, that was good. That was really good. Uh, so we'll go to EG and upgrade. Do we need to go to round table for any reason? I don't think so. Okay, now let's go to EG. EG, make my weapon strong. Uh, nice. And now we get to rank up for the first time. And since we're level one, we should be able to get a lot of what we want. So we need, I think, yeah, 15 ducks, 17 strength. Dump the rest into Vig. I think that's a good start. All right, let's go to Renala. Renala, Red Wolf. Uh, that'll set up for Volcano Manor when we're ready. Actually, we'll go to Volcano Manor after, um, uh, we'll have to go to Volcano Manor after, uh, after this, uh, because I'm not gonna go to, I'm not gonna do really anything in Caleb until it's time to go kill Redaniel. Yeah, I think, in my opinion, we're gonna try and hit a good amount of endurance on this class and probably run Green Turtle. So our talismans will probably be, so here's the thing is we could try for, um, Millicent's prosthesis, but I think the talismans we're going to be going in between are Green Turtle, the Axe Talisman, Alexander's Jar Shard, and then, um, dude, my brain is not functioning right now. Ritual Sword Talisman, that's the other one. RST is, uh, fantastic. Bro. Okay, the recovery on that one is a lot longer. Damage is great though. Damage was super, super good there. Oh man, that means we have to use Nox Flowing Sword on Renala. I mean, that's fine. I just prefer the hammer. Uh, I think we're gonna stop at 30 or 35 and then just start dumping into endurance. I want to get probably to 20 endurance. 20 endurance would be good. Maybe we, maybe we do that. Maybe we go for endurance next and then after we hit our endurance goal, then we'll go back to Vig and then rest will just be going into dex and strength, whatever this likes. Okay. All right, a little bit of everything. All right. Bop. Uh, bop. I mean, we do good damage now, so. Okay. So we'll do... Uh, tap R1, 191, charge R2. That, if we hadn't screwed around trying to figure out what was best, probably could have single cycled that. Yeah, I mean, that is super fast. We definitely could have single cycled that. Okay, well. That's annoying. Bro, I got something too. It miss. Nice. I'm hoping we will see. I'm not gonna even summon. I killed her without her summoning. I don't think I've done that before. I was hoping that from outside of the summoning circle, we would be able to hit her with the flowing form. But I guess not. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll grab this. There are books and light aplenty. All right, um, 30. Mm, nice. Do we want to go ahead and go to Volcano Manor? I mean, it makes sense. Let's go get the green turtle talisman. Oh, we're gonna need another. Well, we need to go to round table hold anyway, so. We're gonna get the green turtle talisman and then go to round table hold. Because we need another stone sword key. And there's, uh, and we also want our next talisman slot, so. Okay. Okay. Grab a grace over here and sit at it. 
We're gonna have to come over here for um, finger slayer, or not finger slayer blade, but the curse mark of death. So, um, so five. Where are the sixes? I actually don't know where a six is right off the top of my head. Oh, there's one in Volcano Manor. I don't know where a second one is though. The fiend. Okay. We get a stone sword key. Let's see if it's worth seven. Is there another six down? We don't need that, but I bought it anyways. Okay. We can go kill uh, this tree right quick. Uh, I would say we're at a good setup now. Uh, we used the hammer this time. I mean, we used the hammer last time, but we didn't kill it, so. This should be good because we'll also be getting um, Coker Stam regen, which will be nice. Oh yeah, much better damage. Still not great, but... Oh no, that's pretty good damage, I'll take it. Nice. Uh, not sure about that one, Chief. See, now this is kind of on easy mode. It's on easy mode, and then I die. Mm, you don't. Not quite. Dude, the recovery on that is really bad. <laughs> it's really bad, actually. Mm, what's next? Let's do this. 35 is usually our sweet spot. So what's our equip load? So to get 30, so we'd have to get to 90. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I was trying to think if we could get the light load reasonably, but it doesn't really feel like we can. All right, we're just gonna go grab this seed and then dip out. We don't need anything else over here. And then we'll be done with Lyernia until we're ready to do some other stuff. Um, and here we go. We want schoolhouse classroom, I think. I right, gotta, oh, are we, we probably won't get killed immediately by, I don't like that. What about this? That looks weird. How are you supposed to see? I don't like that either. That makes me uncomfortable. What about this? No, this is definitely the best one. Bro, oh, really? I had one HP. <laughs> That's wild. Literally one HP. So there's a six if we run over here, I think. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Okay, there's a six. I don't anticipate needing any of this for, um, not sure we'll need this for uh, the noble, but. Then there's a five right there. Our next five will be at Radon. I don't know if there's another six in a reasonable spot. I mean, there's definitely probably one in Altus. Dude, it's been so long since I've been to Volcano Manor. I, okay. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there and I just completely forgot to dodge. Let's see how this goes. Yes, that, yeah. that 513 that's a lot nice I do not understand the range on this at all okay well Guess we're gonna have to respawn and run again. The hammer's definitely gonna be better. I think it's just gonna do more poise damage. Is fall damage a percent based thing? Ah, yeah, okay. We're gonna go with this because I, I just think it's gonna be better. So I'm gonna do it. The flasks aren't very good, but I think we usually would have gone to Altus by now. So, so I, 
I guess nobles are strong against strike damage. That's the only thing I could think of. Because this does even better base damage, too. I'm, not, I'm assuming that Charge R2s do more poise damage. Let's see if I can get a... Bro, I just dodged that, but okay. Take that all day, every day. Nice. That's a good attack. Okay, there we go. What's this? I don't remember it ever being anything. Yeah, it's just little serpents. A, a minion? Anybody know what an a minion is? Alright, let's, uh, one, two, three, and that's it. Okay. At least we're good on all of those stats. Alright, now we're gonna go to Virgin Duos. I haven't been here in a long time. And, uh, note to self, we dev. Bro. Definitely do not need uh, um, three blues. Just doesn't need it. Uh, all right, bet dives of fall damage. Not gonna complain. Uh, let's allocate. Yeah, five to one's probably fine. Uh, and we will go hammer on this one, I guess. See what happens with the hammer. Nice. Good damage. Okay, let's just... I'm about done with these guys. I don't know what they're doing. I didn't know he could throw with his left hand. I guess that probably should have been like a pretty obvious thing. I don't expect to... kill them here. Okay. Apparently his thing can out... Uh, take a breath, but... That would be... Bro. Or not. That was dumb. Well, needless to say, this is not going to be hitless. Dude, screw these stupid things, bro. Take that though. Nice. Bro. I think the consistency is we're screwed. Okay, just greet it. Not. Thank you. Nice. Uh, he didn't. Ah, oh, crap, he's doing the move. Okay, wow. That was, uh, oh, we almost freaking fell off, bro. I'm not sure, like, behind us, so I think we're just going to go over here. Okay. Um, what were we upgrading and why? scaling so well that sucks i think we do like uh hold on, did we kill ranala yeah we did okay this next thing what smith do we have so we have a five and a six i don't typically know where i go grab this Dude, the... Okay, let's, uh... Oh! 
In show. All right. Um, this is not where I want to. Oh, uh, we ball. Um, just because I. That's sus, but. I... Uh, yeah, we don't have another one. Uh, flask. Do we want? Or not flask. When is it smart to? Um, we'll go to Windmill Village because we'll have to go. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so um, I think we went with that Earth Tree. I I don't remember what we've done. Actually, Opaline tier, so I should. I, um, be having some stuff going on for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be recording a ton this weekend, uh, getting some videos ready to go. Uh, so I don't, but I'm trying to be consistent, but dude, sometimes when you got stuff going on. Hello. Um, so we gotta kill O'Neal. Kill O'Neal for being honest. I'm freaking dumb. Uh, so I just... Our time. Understood. Hoping I could get all of them. Could not. Oh, that's the problem. In a game full of really fast bosses, it really throws you off. I'd love to be able to get a freaking. I should get them both. Nice. I mean, I definitely like this. Like, it's it's fun because it's definitely different. And I can't say that I would use her if I didn't have to. But it's fun. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna. It's because it's like, well, this is a plus six. Well, but this is actually pretty. We haven't tried this on an actual bot, dude. I am soaked in blood. I tried this on like an actual boss because depending on I mean he's I mean with all the minions it's yeah I've already helped her here take this okay. yep right. and I sat somehow nice So I've been thinking. Okay. Uh, we definitely need to do some uh, between now and June twentieth. We got to do some DLC prep. Um, I would think I said earlier I had no idea where you like enter from. Supposedly, I mean supposedly because I haven't actually looked myself. I heard somebody else say this is a uh, win, which is pretty dope. Uh, prep. I must, I must. Okay. Um, having said that, um, there's going to be, uh, they, they don't want to come in OP and just destroy the deals they get. I mean, I guess I get it, but, um, so they have a different like leveling system or, or, or something, but I still want to go in there and I mean, we'll do. We'll try and find weapons. Um, so we've got to prepare a character. I think we'll probably just find the first weapon that we can in this new place and use it all the way through. And then we'll do like full play. Let's just do that instead. Um, and then do like, there's supposedly you can learn Kung Fu, which is off, but that's genius. 
And uh, I know why you look at Elden Ring and say Kung Fu, but dude, I have a good point between all of it. That's... This should get us to where we want to go. Yeah, perfect. All right. Did I ever figure out the best place to enter? But a place to enter, I guess. Kind of looks like we can, but maybe there's lava. Dude, imagine doing a bell only playthrough. Reasonable to do a build on. Do, do, do. I'm pretty sure I could just sneak. Woo. So we don't even have another talisman slot. But then we. Have, I would love to give you this arm. Okay, let's go up here. And then, uh, I think that the hammer's just gonna plop her on the ground, too. Probably not. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't have a strategy for this. I've just been kind of using the hammer. But hammer. It's because we haven't been using it. And I want to better, though. I like the hammer moves up. Oh, 252, not... Oh, dude, the roll out of that is almost... Dude, there's... Dude, there's punish windows all over the place. Oh, man. Poise. I don't know how that hit me. Oh. At only a plus four. Not bad. Yeah, that was just trash. Choked it up, man. Here. Ah, dang it. The poise reset already? Nope. So I do think that well, this will be a completely scripted fight. Oh wow, that was tracking on that. Dude has no health. Breathe on him. Thank you. Ah, oh, so man. Can't say that. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm missing like. Nice. Nice, goodbye. Really? Um. Yeah, this will be good. I'm not even sure if we'll really use it all that much. But there's a chance, right? There, there's always a chance. We. Uh. Daniel. We'll use the whippy one on Redaniel. Um, I think we'll be able to get a ton of. And knowing that the L2 damage on poise damage. Okay. I also don't think. Word. Okay, yeah. I mean. At the moment. I, do, I don't even know which one I like. They're, they're both. Um, above average. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're like incredibly above average or just i mean i i like them for sure um or on the hammers kind of clunky um it's a do and then there's a time that i'm not a fan of um but having said that uh i like the hammer move set pretty good um don't love the flowing sword. this specific flowing sword mess
I misjudged the I mean, the Ash of War on this one, I like a whole Um, and this one isn't ranked up as much. I like it. I like it. We're doing better. At least we didn't die, right? But, um, definitely need to get that more into the, like, no-hit range, because <laughs> definitely one of my better bosses at this point in time. All right. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Should be able to, um... Just being 100% off. Um, I'm not going to uh, support sixes. Seeds. Um, just gold free. Maybe even get to Morga. We never take it that Cyber 7. So, playing this out, we would get. Oh, there's a 7 underground somewhere. Is there a 6 and? And I, by that I mean sewers. Um, for both of them, because one of them we still have to go get from Volcano Manor, right? So I'll have to wait to get, wow, my brain's just, uh, so that would be Faramazul, um, because the six bell bearing and mountaintops, and then we'd get seven in Faramazul. Um, we also get another nine in Fer. so then we'll just need an They'll both be plus nine. Told I say something. Let's try uh let's try hammer first. Oh jeez, okay. Your turn. Time. And let's let's start trying to make these uh, less crazy, and more like good fights rather than just BSing it. Okay, 182 for an R2. Oh, but the. 437. So damage. Nice. If it's damage type. Like, what do you what do you want me to do there? Like I I dodged and did everything I could, and this dude still smacks me in the face. So, all right, if we want to do an ultra, just need to do not the way to achieve them either. So, did. Dude, this Ash of War on this one, I'm not a fan of. Maybe I don't use it right, but I think it's trash. Yeah, I mean, this is meant to be used as a hammer, not as a Ash of War. Yeah, let's just... Not a good DTS, but I feel like I've really kind of just fallen off. There's just, there's a lot of fights that I need to, I don't know. For a reason, I'm just like in a 
face. That's not the mood that I need to be in. Because if I... See if we can go gig. So I gotta. I still don't know where another somber sick. Nice. Uh, there's some. Well, hey, bud. Okay. No one, one. So, Shavor, very good for NPCs. Um, not seemingly good for anything else at the moment. Actually, it's, it's good for a lot. Alright. Gold free. Maybe have time for a jump R2? That's kind of big. There, maybe I didn't have stamina. Clean gold for a fight. Uh, one hit. Basketball. I will catch you guys probably on Friday. <sighs> Let's level up right quick. So I made a few changes. Uh, we have a new lens on the camera, so I hope it looks better. It's much wider, and that kind of happened by accident. Um, I really just wanted the. Uh, it, it's a long story. Anyways. Hopefully you under see that change and hopefully it, you know, looks better. We're going to continue to grow and continue to make it look a little bit better. The other change is hopefully the audio sounds a little bit better. It's been about an hour today just trying to crisp up the audio and I hope I achieved that. I don't know and I won't know until after this video is edited and ready to be posted. So if I didn't achieve that, I'm sorry. All right. Um, we're got. Let's see. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. I um, think we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I was trying to think about like what order we wanna do things in. I'm not, I really don't wanna go to the Consecrated Snowfields at the moment, but we don't really have much of a choice. So, all right, so let's add Millicent's Prosthesis. This is plus six, this is plus five. I don't know where a six is, hold on. I. Okay, so there's one in Landell. Oh, there's one in Mount Gelmir. That's really easy to go get. Oh, there's one in Volcano Manor? I didn't know that. Okay, and then we need two sevens. Somber sevens. So there's one in Volcano Manor. Okay, Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Okay, so, geez, hello. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill Morgoth. Then after we kill Morgoth, uh, we should be able to go get at least, at least plus seven, if not plus, well, one of them we can probably get to plus nine. How much of one here? Seems to be a full opening. Essentially, I'm trying to figure out when he can decide to do the freaking daggers. So that one seems to sometimes be an opening, but not always. Okay, yeah, I deserve that. I was too late. Oh, I honestly thought that I was far enough away to where I could just let him hit and then I was gonna smack him. Didn't know you could strafe that, nice. So that's obviously an opening. I don't know how to get him to do that without getting hit though. Nice. No, we need to pop a blue. Bro, I don't know what just happened there.
mean that was a better fight that still wasn't good like it, it just wasn't really like cohesive if that makes any sense like i mean we killed him but it it i don't know that wasn't very good on the bright side we don't really have to worry about saving runes for um smithing stones so that's nice uh so it looks like we're going back to volcano manor uh okay let's decide where we're going and getting these uh smithing stones all right so noxtella lake of rot forbidden lands oh we'll just get that one that one's our next seven and then the dragon barrel one lake of rot moonfolk ruins where is this oh yeah no not happening consecrated snowfield fair Mazul. okay so let's go get our six and sevens um i'm not sure if we can get where we need to from the temple of LJ, but we're gonna try hmm, i'm trying to think of how we could uh get to because we need to get to the front of volcano manor and get to mount gelmir from here which i've never um gone from like here to mount gelmir so not sure uh, what that path looks like where does this take me? I really hope that it's somewhere important. Yeah, okay, okay, so this is good. This is good. We needed to be able to come here. Okay, cool. So now we'll go back and get the seven. Is there anything else up here? I don't think so. Okay, uh, Volcano Manor. All right, so now we should be able to go to the front and we should be able to get a six. Then we'll be able to get both of these plus seven, one plus nine. And then we'll have to look, see what we want to do about getting another eight. You can't leave the front door of Vol- Why can't you leave the front door of Volcano Manor? Okay, so that was a waste of time. Um, is there a faster six in this bullcrap, bro? Like, oh, there's one in Volcano Manor, freaking idiot. Dude, I am struggling today. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we'll have another six, then seven we'll have to go to... This could actually be a problem, okay. Um, let's just grab the six. Jeez, bro. Um, now time to go to Fort Farah. I'm gonna get the actually important ones. Yeah, I'm not gonna go freaking soul searching for another two for another seven like we're just gonna we'll get it when we get to ferrum like, that's fine unless if i can think of a better seven location like I, I can't think of another seven now since i like the ash of war better on the curved sword do we want to put do we want to plus nine the curved sword i just don't know which one does better stance damage i would have figured that it would have been the hammer but i'm not sure that that's the case All right, so there's our eight. We'll go get our nine. We won't be able to plus 10 both of these until we go to Mogwin, so. There's our nine and then there's Renart. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, Forbidden Lands, idiot. Okay, let's keep going then. And Skull, so it says that there's a skull before BBK. Dude, I've never seen this skull, never. Not sure if this is actually faster, if I just think it's faster, but I like doing this better than the Avenue Balcony, I think. So it's at least less boring, if not actually faster, you know. So one of these will get plus nine, one of them will be plus seven. Um, until after Godskin Duo, I genuinely do not know which one I want to do. Like, I don't know, man. Like, part of me wants to... Part of me wants to do the hammer because I thought I, well, I definitely like the hammer move set better, I think. But flowing form, this version of flowing form, I, I don't think is very good. I definitely think that the curved sword, curved sword version is better. And I don't think it's remotely close. Okay, just in case I die getting to the skull, not taking any chances, man. See a skull by now? Is that a skull? Dude, I can't. Maybe this is a skull? Yeah, that's a skull. Okay. It is much more reasonable. Yep, Summer 7. Okay. Well, we know where that is now. I think this one up here is something too. That's definitely something. I don't know what it is though. 
already can't see the church, man. Oh, it's right there. Wait, no, it's not. Where is it? Dude, I cannot see the church. It's somewhere that way. There it is. Technically, we we probably could go get the sacred tier next to uh, at the other church here because the NPC should be pretty easy with the flowing hammer thing. So I might might actually use it. I don't like bike, man. Bike pisses me off, bro. All right, so we need to spawn in. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, barely missed. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Bro. Definitely doesn't do a lot of damage, but I mean, Karma does this, which I mean, that has value. Well, now I have to kill him. Now I have to kill Vike. You know, it was previously just kind of like a, eh, we'll go in here and kill Vike. Now, now I have to kill him. It's personal now. Let's try the sword. The sword just seems to be better all around. I mean, yeah. Uh, I think it's just better. Oh, and it cancels him out of everything. That is great. Bro, come on, walk into that. Nice. Make sure we get it here. There we go. Nice. Stop that. Screw you, Vike, dude. What a terrible boss. He's worth like, yeah, 75,000. That's ridiculous for a freaking Vike. Did I think? I definitely like the sword better than the hammer. I don't know which one's technically better, but I can tell you which one I like more. Now we get to go do fun bosses. Like, um, well, after Fire Giant, then we get to do fun bosses. I don't really consider Fire Giant much of a fun boss. Mainly just because phase two kind of sucks. Just takes a long time. Not that it's really all that hard. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get this flask down because I, I think we should. If we go around the back, we should be able to ride Torrent all the way, all the way to the church. And then after that, then it's just fighting. What's his face? Whoever he is. I don't even know his name. Yuri, maybe? Oh, nice. Didn't even aggro if you go from the back. Let's go plus nine. Guess the sword. Which one are we going to want for Godskin Duo? Yeah, I think that was the right choice. All right, uh, foot of the forge. I think that was the right choice. If it wasn't, then just kind of is what it is. I mean, it's not like we're gonna have to go very long without having both of them plus nine. I wonder if we can make Melania face plant with the hammers version of flowing form. That would be interesting. 1100 damage, jeez, okay. Wow, okay, so this does a good amount of poise damage. I mean, that's pretty baller. Seem to be fine on the poise side of things. 2,000? Okay, we should be able to, like, regardless, stand out of the fire. Nice. Okay. I don't know if that was like the right move there, but yeah, I don't know. All right, can we stop all this and please don't make two fireballs or make two fireballs, that's fine. Ah, oh, a thousand, okay. It's such a slow fight, man. Unless we are incredibly overpowered. Which we are not. 
Okay, now he's probably gonna do... Oh, he didn't do the fire thing. Nice. Just takes forever. I might be able to get two off there. I don't think so, though. Goodbye. Dude, that... How long did that take, man? Like, that was a long freaking fight. I've been doing all bosses, or not all bosses, all remembrances pretty regular recently. I'm not sure if we should be doing all remembrances or not. Like, are these videos, like, I don't know. I feel like mainline is not not enough, but kind of. We could do mainline plus like Halleck Tree. I don't know, I just don't really like going underground because... All right, so God's Can Do and Malakast. Not really worried about Malakast, not really worried about God's Can Do. I just need to know how many charged R2s stuns God's Can Do, but it should be, well, maybe not scripted uh, because it might not do enough damage, I don't know, but we'll have to see. Should be able to have enough for 10 sleep pots, um, but you can only, well, I only know of being able to have eight crack pots uh, at one time, so. Ooh, Plassey might be a long fight. It probably will be a long fight, actually. Oh, we get the plus eight bell bearing before we even go fight God's gonna do it, dude. We are cruising. We're fine. We're fine. And then there's a nine literally on the way. We're good. So both of these will be plus nine before we even step into God's gonna do it. All right. Um, first, we need to go to Kale and get his crack pots. Then we need to go to, not Ball, Bach. That's what his name is. Bot, get the rest of the shrooms. Then gotta go to another merchant. Get the rest of the, um, what's it called? Then we'll rank up both of our weapons and then we'll be done. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Bach. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we didn't get a grace down here. Oh, we didn't go to the fort. No wonder we didn't get a grace down there. All right, we'll try it with seven. Hopefully we don't need more than seven. Uh, we'll try this one first. Um, we'll see how it goes. And then if I don't like it, then we'll switch the hammer and see how that one goes. Okay, there's him slept. Nice. Drink. Okay, we'll try this one on Fatty. One, two, three, three staggers. That was dumb. Nice. Okay, so that works. All right, now let's try the hammer. One. Oh, it does a little bit more damage. Yep. Actually, might do like much more damage. Okay. It's annoying. Good night. Okay, interesting choice. Oh, this is so much more damage. Why does it, uh, I wonder if it's because it's slashing instead of strike. I wonder if that's why. Cause like that did significantly more damage than, well, no, no, it didn't. I don't, I don't even know what's going on at this point. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right. Do we want to go way of birds so we can get the ancient dragon smithing stone? No, no, I don't but maybe I will. Nice. Knock on wood, but I haven't missed that jump yet. So pretty, pretty happy with that. 923. 
Oh jeez, nice. Alright, let's create enough space and then... Ow. out good there's something over there i don't remember what it is though i think it's a fairly important chest too maybe maybe we come back for this 10 when we um go kill Plassy. yeah we'll do that because i don't really want to go down there i highly doubt gideon is going to face plant right with the hammer move set i really doubt that he's going to face plant all right so we're going to try both on here and see which one does better Okay, R1, 249. I'll try and get a 333, okay. Okay. See if we can get a tap R2 in. We can here. 499. Oh, okay. Not paying attention, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's just your move so let's see a charge r2 oh 637 that's big boy damage 637 and we're missing 10 percent damage i'm having a hard time hitting him with the with the hammer I'm just gonna die here. I did not die. Nice. Goodbye. Not too bad not too bad i don't i couldn't even tell really which one's better i think it's just kind of what moveset do you like better i i don't think that there's much of a difference if we're just being 100 percent honest i think that the ash of war objectively speaking on the curved sword is better but then it's just like okay do you like the hammer moveset or do you like the curved sword moveset at least from the godskin duo testing it looks like they do the exact same amount of poise damage so if that's the case then just pick whichever one you like all right um we're gonna try and make gideon just plop i'm not sure if it's gonna work if it doesn't work then we'll switch the sword because I, I think i just like the curved sword better if we're well that's not true i like the hammer move set but the ash of war on the sword better so i mean i guess i technically like i do like both yeah i know just kind of tough so this could go really well or it could go really bad um i think we can hit him once without him getting pissed off. And then we can do the thing. No, we can't. Oh, yes. Enjoy that, buddy. I don't even have to get near you. Dude, oh, this is just great. This is how Gideon fights should be. Just destroyed. Okay, just gotta get in a good position to do our thing. Dude, so good. I mean, against NPCs, yeah, against NPCs, this Ash of War is very, very, very good. Goodbye, Gideon. Like, look, every weapon has its place, right? Uh, Horlu, did we? So I know for a fact we can get the flow or this, like, we'll use this. This is gonna jive best. Plus, being able to use this flowing form. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Be a beautiful sight. Still 281 AR and 258, so leveling doesn't really do a whole lot <laughs> at the moment. Or that might actually be tied to the weapon and not. I don't know. Seven hundred, nice. Three fifty-eight. Nice, dude. 
boys monster baby okay bro what that's how we ruined my hit list like really dude This actually probably should stack room. Nice. Just gonna skip his phase one and a half. Dude is so freaking tall. We can definitely hitless or, or yeah, we can definitely hitless this like not too bad. Yeah, we can hitless this relatively no problem. Such a BS way to lose a hit list. Okay, so he should be very close to poise breaking. Nice. Perfect. Exactly how I wanted to start. Think I have time for this? No. All right. <sighs> nice. Goodbye. Not too bad. Yeah, we got hit a lot. We got hit a lot. That's okay. Dude, the Nox people are kind of goaded, man. All right. Uh. Ninety-six. We actually probably can get to ninety-seven. All right. All right. I uh, think we're gonna go with the hammer for no particular reason other than I just think it's going to be better All right, let's see Not quite enough time for that Nice Six, that's fine. Or five forty eight, whatever that was. Nice. Then should be able to get the stagger. Or not the stagger, but the, the boss, whatever. Should be able to get another hit in. Hold on. No, I missed. 
nice. Just gonna run here. Should be one more. Should stagger. Yep. Goodbye, Elden Beast. Okay, so we. Okay. There we go. Well, Elden Ring is beat. Nice. Um, now we just gotta go fight the rest of the lands between. Dude, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm freaking tired, man. So we just beat the game. So now it's time to just do whatever else we want to do. Plassy's a quick one. Let's go ahead and get Plassy off the off the board. And I don't know if is this just slash? This is slash is strike. I don't think either of these damage types are gonna be good against Plassy, unfortunately. All right, Let's see what we can do here. I mean, we'll try both on them. Really, charge attacks is what it's, we're looking at, and then we'll also do. Um, we're not gonna have enough mana to consistently do the um, flowing form on either of these, so uh, not really sure what that's gonna look like. But that's okay. All right, R two, four seventy three, charge R two. 695 529 Okay, let's try a flowing form 688 And we got the stance break Bro his head is so far away like that is just not worth the time and energy definitely not Oh geez, I'm a whole lot closer than I want to be. Seems legit. There, there are certain things that just are not good against Placidus Axe because of his health pool and his resistances. So he's just tanky as hell, like all the time. back here what if we get nice come on stamina I like the running R2 on this. Nice. And just keep running for your life and hope you don't die. I got did that was not supposed to happen. Okay. That was close. And we're not all the way to the tail. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. And then I guess now we go do all this crap. We still don't have these at somber 10. <laughs> I feel like there's one in uh Alec Tree or something. I feel like we have just the right amount of stamina on this class. I do think that we did that well. There's nothing in particular that I'm like, eh, we did not do right with this class. We definitely were level we were leveled pretty low as far as weapons for a while. Which that I think was out of laziness, like me not going to freaking go get the plus ten and Ferrum just because I don't want to go through the birds, but what can you do? All right, let's say how quickly I can just torch Loretta Nice Those still stay after she's dead that's annoying Dude, I want to do a Loretta build so bad. Like, I 
I know people have done them before, so that's kind of why, like, well, and I've been, like, really busy, but I don't know. I want to do a Loretta build really badly. I think it'd be fun, because I never get to use her stuff. And, I mean, I don't know if it's any good or not, but, I mean, it'd be fun to at least to try. <laughs> hey, Ranny. I already burnt the tree down, just to let you know. Okay. All right, might kill Moose and go like all the way to Estelle. Oh, we still gotta go kill Nile. I don't know, we'll just do whatever I feel like. Almost missed there. Oh, dude, we get to go to the land of our people. I completely forgot. I have something to look forward to. All right, we'll just use this on Mimic here. Just constantly get him stuck against the ground. Smacked. try and heal twice like usually he only like like tries to heal and doesn't succeed like once i guess there are three mooses or three moose why is a red wolf eradicon down here you know there are a lot of red wolves wolves just where there seemingly shouldn't be you know what i mean We'll be done with down here. We're gonna have to duel our people. Like, there's no way around it. We have to. But we're gonna have to kill every knock, Nox, whatever, Nox people that we find to assert our dominance. Should we kill the ball too, since they're protecting the ball? Nice. All right, I am Monk. You guys are losers. Wait, what is what? Wait, hold on. That one had something different. That one had that one had a blade. When I looked up what they carry, all I came up with was these two weapons. It, well, if there's more, this is what it is. Like, I mean, we are like shoulders deep in this playthrough now. We can't do anything about it. Or did they have a finger slayer blade? You know what I mean? Like, kind of look, kind of look like a finger slayer blade type game. Okay, so there's two in Consecrated Snowfields, one in Mogwen, three in the Hallig Tree, one in Landale Ash and Capital. We'll figure it out. Go ahead and kill Moose. Come here, Moose. Lame little Moosey. Nice damage. Very quality damage. Nice. Nope, no healing. Nice. Let's go down even further downstairs. Grab this just in case. I don't even know if we have a level. Oh, uh, we should have a, a level 80,000. I don't, I don't even know what level we're at. Uh, yeah, okay, we got one. Go kill Garg's my favorite, favorite boss in the game. You know, at least, like, the Ash of War will be good for it, because I typically have a hard problem with the freaking hitbox on these things, but with how, like, sweeping this thing is, should be fine. Not bad damage. Uh, leaves some room to be desired, but of course he dodged. Poison, stop. This is so annoying. Let's see how this does. That does a lot more damage. Oh, this does so much more damage. 
Oh. That is the only reason I use the freaking uh, scythe was because of the hitbox. Turns out that they're much weaker to strike damage, which kind of makes a lot of sense. I wonder if this will flatten uh, Lionel. If it does, this could be pretty good. If it doesn't, then it'll be normal. I think I'll probably kill Vortisax and Estelle tonight and then call it. This is just a lot of running and I'm I'm tired, you know? I'm tired. But I'll get finished. The run will get finished tomorrow and then I mean, it's not like tonight versus tomorrow morning makes much of a difference. We gotta do some investigation. Well, not here, but whenever we get to Noxtella, we gotta do some investigation. How do you, how do you actually dodge that? Is it possible? What do you have? What is that? See, what is that? Just a knife, just a dagger? Is it just a normal dagger? Cause that definitely does not look like this, right? No, yeah, I don't know. Now these people, these people got the the whippy ones. Pretty sure. The ones on the ant, I think they had the whips. Yeah, you have a whip. Wait, is there a, no, there's not. I was thinking that there might be one down here. Uh, somber, uh, ancient dragon fighting stone, but there's not. Is Scarlet Rot percentage based? I don't think so. I think it's a constant. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm sure somebody will tell me. All right. Uh, we'll try both. I'm not gonna. Not gonna gatekeep. We'll try both. Still is not a very hard boss. So. Okay. Eight forty-eight. That's uh. Eight forty-eight is uh solid damage. No, it's just a jump part too. Let's see this. I'm dead. I mean, they're kind of stuck in an animation. You're gonna do your... Oh yeah, I said we were gonna do this, didn't I? Oh, baby! Says Estelle isn't hard, then dies to Estelle. for that don't you think goodbye all right that was my worst style kill ever okay now we gotta go uh ronnie finger slayer blade jeez louise man that was awful that was pretty bad do we want to wear a different head no i'm good i like the monk we look good as a monk you know what i mean Dude, at this point, we genuinely may just not get both of them level 10. Like, is it bad that it seems like, except for Mogwin, just because it's on the way, but it seems like it doesn't seem worth it to go go get those. Like, I just don't think the damage increase is going to be that much different. Like, I, I, I don't. I don't think it's going to be much different at all. Flows. Oh, now it's doing something weird. This is definitely the most, or the best looking build we've had uh, in recent memory. That kind of looks like Radagon, to be honest. All right, then we'll kill Fortisax and then we'll be chilling for a minute. I haven't missed this jump yet, but I do feel like my day is coming where I miss this. All right, so we're definitely using this one. We have okay, we have seven guys, we're good. Yeah, we're definitely using this one. This one's just gonna like face plant him. I'm really curious if this will face plant Melania, but even if it does, like I don't think that we're gonna have enough mana to do this like the entire time on her. Like cause this uses 16 FP. I don't know how much FP we have, but I mean 16 is kind of a lot for something like this. I should have just done it again, but. I missed. 
And goodbye. Bro. How did I not hit him there? What happened? Alright, we're gonna try on Lionel first. Nice. Okay, that, that's annoying. Oh, got him. There's one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay! Kiss champs dead. Yes. Hold me for another minute, please. Thank you. Did she just pat our back? To the death bed drain. Dude, I need to figure out the lore behind this. Like, it's a cool fight. I, I just still have never understood what goes on here. Other than Fortisax. All right, let's see. Oh, we do good damage. Bro, how is a fire hitting me from underneath? That's never happened before. Okay, this is annoying. There will be a time, there will be a time where I'm start trying again to improve my fights, but uh, tonight's not that night. I wonder if I can hit him in the face with this. Well, I'm not gonna try. Maybe I will. Cannot hit him in the face. Okay, there we go. All right, and there goes Fortis X. Oh, I didn't even use that remembrance. Gonna get one or two levels. Looks like one. All right, let's uh, let's finish this playthrough. Uh, honestly, I really enjoyed this playthrough. It's nothing like super crazy or anything like that. Um, challenging, I mean, yeah, but not too crazy as far as challenging goes. Um, but it's been really fun. Uh, it's been a really fun playthrough. Um, got to use, you know, two very non-standard weapons. They're actually really good. One's a bit more, I would say the curved sword is a bit more practical for just like playing. And then I would say the hammer is definitely better for NPCs. I'm not sure if the NPC behavior is the same when you do like, uh, when you play like online duels or whatever. If that's the case, then it, yeah, it might just be a cheat code just to base plan them every single time. All right, shaded castle. This should be fine. So I think O'Neill, the, or Nile, what is this one? I think it is Nile. I'm saying Nile is, for I can't even. I mean, technically, okay, let's just send it. <laughs> Ow, we're just gonna send it. If we die to Nile, it's fine. Today, I am going to try and focus on getting these fights better though. Like that is, that is definitely one of my goals. Not just like face tanking these anymore. I feel like I've face tanked them past few times and uh i really want to you know actually get better at the game rather than just doing bs so it'd be like new game plus nine which i mean i think would be fun bro all right let's try the hammer here we go oh this plops him down bro is obviously not gonna plop down on Neil. So we'll we'll uh we'll see what's gonna happen with both. Forty five is pretty good damage. Uh seven wait, seven twenty eight. I guess that was because it was a counter. 1400 I mean, yeah, I think that the uh, We maybe should have um, Let's try the curb sword. I think we probably should have taken the repost there, but it's fine Dude, I hate his moveset is so delayed 
bothers me. Nice. 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 Okay, I'll take that. Um. Oh, that like groped around his neck. Grope's also an interesting word. I'm not sure if I like that. So that was definitely a better Nile fight than we're used to. Like, we definitely got better right there. But I don't know. Both of them were pretty good. Once again, it, if they don't have a lot of stance, then uh, the Hammer's Ash of War is great. If they have a relatively, like, normal amount of stance, then I think the Curved Sword's probably just a tad better. I kind of want to do, um, at some point, I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but I want to do a more casual playthrough where I just kind of do a lot of exploring, you know, kind of closer to how, you know, my first playthrough in the game was rather than just like, okay, point A, point B, point C. I also want to play more randomizer, dude. I haven't had an opportunity to play more randomizer because I don't, the problem with randomizer is I I don't think play, playing just like a normal randomizer without another challenge would be any fun to watch. Like I, everybody does randomizer playthroughs, so it's like I got to figure out how to make it at least a tad unique to where it's like, oh, this is worth watching. Like kind of give you an excuse to watch it rather than just like, it's just another randomizer playthrough, you know? Nice. Okay, there's one. Let's do this a couple more times. Nice. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, that is so violent. I love it. Dude, that has got to be the best finisher in the game. I just freaking like slammed our head into the ground. Oh, oh that's so great. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that was surprisingly easy i'm usually not very good at dealing with ordina all right hallig tree i think it's hold on let's actually look and see where this is i think i think it's in uh l fail or whatever okay so yeah okay so they're both in our all three of them are in fl l, l fail i don't know i don't know how to say it um and one of them is after completing Millicent's quest line which, uh, she's dead, so we can't do that one. What's the point of really needing runes? Dude, a, a smithing six here is way too late for a smithing six, in my opinion. Everything here should be at least sevens, if not eights. So far, I think this is my cleanest run through the Hallig tree. All right, let's, uh, let's kill her first try so we don't have to do this run again. All right, well, uh, 981, that's good damage. Oh, I got lucky there. Should have time for a charge. Yep. 981. I think we've already. I think we already did a charge R2. 359. This is really good for a freaking tap R1. 517. Equally as good. All right, let's do this. 979, that is bueno. Y'all. Yeah. Do this again. Bro, what? Nice dodge. I dodged through than that. Let's see what a charge R2 does. 714. I mean, for how quick a charge R2 is with this, dude, these are really good. I, honestly, now I only, I can only go off of what I know. So before everybody gets their panties in a wad, like I haven't watched every single Elden Ring video ever. I can only go off what I know, but these are incredibly underrated. These two weapons, I, I mean, people might rate them really high, 
I haven't seen them being used or rated really high. I mean, I also don't know how hard they are to like get in a vanilla game uh, because obviously we just spawned them in so that we could play. But both of these are really good. The moveset on both of these is just fantastic. Here we go. Okay, so here's one in a walkway in the southern end of, oh man. Okay, so then there's one near that avatar is pretty much how we always go anyway, so. Uh, new one's around. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that this was a putrid avatar. Okay, can you move? All right, these are really easy to get. Zoop. Okay, I don't know why I thought I could sneak past that. I could not, what is this? Spirit flame arrow, okay. N noted, never go get that again. All right, Melania. Melania has honestly become one of my favorite bosses now that I can actually like survive occasionally. We'll go to Melania's side of grace and then we'll go upgrade to plus 10. Which once again, I'm not convinced is gonna do much of anything, but might as well, like there's literally zero harm. I've never been down there. That's an area I'd like to explore at some point. Yeah, okay. Um, it's plus 10. I don't know what's in D spell bearing. I, I don't remember. Um, we're just gonna try both of them, see what happens. I have a feeling that this Ash of War is going to plop her, but I just don't think that we're gonna have enough FP to do it like time after time, you know? So. Seven sixty-eight. That's good damage. Yeah, it's. I expected that, but we're just not gonna be able to. I uh, dodged too early. We're just not gonna be able to. Whoops. Yeah, we're just not gonna be able to spam that. Cause like, look, we did two casts and that's half our FP bar. So I don't know, let's, uh, let's. So I like the hammer move set, I think more for Melania. So, but we're gonna try, um, we'll try this version of flowing form. Cause this version of flowing form will definitely knock her out of anything. 400 tap R or an R1 is still really good. Let's try tap R2. 574. I mean, not as much as the hammer to be expected, but still good. Let's see. 1069. Jeez. Okay, so that is. Let's try a tap R2 or a charge R2. Dude, I freaking love this Hash of War. Like, I mean, it can even outspace Melania. It's not expensive either. I don't think it, I think it does decent poise damage too. Okay, well, that's just bad luck. Like, if he did an attack that has hyper armor, what am I supposed to do? Phase two at least. Too late to not get hit. Okay, yeah, I, I don't. I still don't know how to reliably deal with that attack. From what I feel there, I think, I think we go hammer in phase one, and then phase two we switch to the flowing sword. Mm, I don't know, dude. They're both really good. I do like the hammer move set a little bit more though, so we might just go hammer. I don't know. Bro, are you seriously? Oh man, dude, why does she have hyper armor when she's dodging? That just doesn't feel right. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to quit using this Ash of War on her permanently. It's not good for FP consumption. And I mean, if she gets hyper armor, then we're just kind of screwed because of how long the animation takes. Are we just gonna keep spamming this? 
Alright. Come on, dude. Barely got clipped on water, pal. That's BS right there. Do we go get Ritual Sword Talisman? This is so annoying, man. I hate this move so much. Like, I'm sure it's probably easy to dodge once you figure out how to, but since I don't know how to, it's just freaking annoying, bro. Such bad luck, bro. Such bad luck. Like, I... Oh, man. Spending... This is a flashback. We're spending hours on Millennia again. Meanwhile, I definitely should not be spending this much time on Millennia. Okay. I mean, I guess just... Uh, yeah, let's go get Ritual Sword Talisman. You know, I've actually never tried that, so I'm glad it worked. Goodbye. Run Melania a couple more times and then we'll go get Moog set up if I'm still just not doing great. If charge attacks worth having on here, what else could we put on here? Mm, Regent Stamp? Well, we'll see what our stamp situation's like, but I doubt we'll need it. Alright, let's see how much damage we're doing now. it just be an extra 10%. Alright. 845. Charge attack, 1100, doing 1300 for a uh, uh, L2. Now we're doing essentially 1500, about right. Does it make a ton of a difference? Not really, but enough to make me feel better about it. Plus I do not think stamina is going to be a problem. She is a poised monster. Bro, really? Dude, okay, I don't think Ritual Sword Talisman make Okay, it makes a 10% difference, but I think it's more mentally because I'm like not wanting to get hit so I don't lose my buff, if that makes sense. I shouldn't want to get hit like in general, but... First time with freaking Ritual Sword and then, and, and I mean, look, 10% damage is good, but like in the grand scheme of things, it did not make that much of a difference. It was the fact that I mentally did not want to lose my buff, which I know is BS, but it just kind of is what it is, you know? All right, let's go kill Moog. After we rank up to Melania. What a boss, man. What a boss. When you got your head in the game, she's a great boss. When you don't, and then she just abuses you and you feel like a little child. I mean, if you're gonna play like I played, then yeah, you deserve to kind of get beat like a little child. Nice. Hitless Sanguine Noah, woo! <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go kill Moog. I think 
I need to double check, but I think there's a way that you can actually save these save files rather than just having to delete them whenever you need, you know, more space. And if so, like, this is the character that we could, you know, take into to the DLC. Just save all of my characters and take them all into the DLC if I want to. Should be able to rank up maybe two more times after uh, we go through the little cave. All right. My question becomes, what do we use on Moog? Because I typically do like to have Green Turtle Talisman against Moog. I don't know if it's really needed, but I do typically like to have it. I mean, does it really matter anymore? All right, let's go see what uh, goes on with Moog. We'll probably try both of them. I've beaten Moog with a curved sword before, but it was a Zamor's curved sword. So we'll try both. Like th this is not, uh, the L2 on this is gonna be better than the L2 on the other one. That's not even remotely close, so. Okay, so 447 on an R1. Actually, let's see what an R2 is. Okay, well, I would love to. Should be able to outspace him here. Fighter 2, 919. Uh. A lot of damage. How did that miss, bro? Bro, I dodged. What hit me? I think we're gonna main the hammer and use the Ash of War on the whip whenever we need to. Sounds like a good plan to me. could i mean we could just spam the l2 on the other one let's just, let's just do that let's let's see how nasty this is stance breaks might be at a premium with this nice and of course we're not gonna be able to deal with the stagger Uh, that was not a good fight all right we're gonna go back to the hammer i like it better i think <sighs> at least better in this circumstance I like it a lot better this is pathetic man dude i've got to get back on my game man <laughs> and i'm literally about to go on vacation for like a week and a half so i'm gonna suck at elden ring when i come back for sure for sure How did I miss, bro? Stop saying, bro. It just bothers me so much. Nice. Okay. Well, killed Moog. That's 
the game, and right here is where we're gonna enter into the DLC. Wait, this thing bleeds? Look at it, it bleeds. Dude, that's wild. Okay. All right, well, uh, final stats. Um, let's see, we're level 129, 56 strength, six, seven, 57 dex because we have a tier on or something on and uh, normal vig and endurance. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on other runs we can do, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I read most of my comments most of the times, except sometimes people are assholes, but that just is what it is. Uh, but anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and blessings.